So all of the things we've been talking about is most likely going to be NVIDIA, right? Is there any competitors? Google, Google, I kind of ignored them. What's the story with TPU? Like what's the... TPU is, is awesome, right? It's great. Uh, Google is, they're a bit more tepid on building data centers for some reason. They're, they're building big data centers. Don't get me wrong. And they have, they actually have the biggest cluster. Let me, I, I, I was talking about NVIDIA clusters. They actually have the biggest cluster, period. Um, but the way they do it is like very interesting, right? Um, they have two sort of like data center super regions, right? In that the data center isn't physically like all of the GPUs aren't physically on one site, mm -hmm. but they're like 30 miles from each other. They're not GPUs, TPUs, right? Mm -hmm. They have like in, in Iowa and Nebraska, they have four data centers that are just like right next to each other. Why doesn't Google flex its cluster size? Go to often? multi data center training. It's the good images in there. So I'll show you what I mean. It's just uh, semi analysis multi data center. Um, so this is like, you know, so this is an image of like what a standard Google da data center looks like. By the way, their data centers look very different than anyone else's data centers. What are we looking at here? Um, so these are, yeah, so if you if you see this image, right, in the center, there are these big rectangular boxes, right? Those are where the actual chips are kept. Um, and then if you scroll down a little bit further, um, you, you can see there's like these water pipes, there's these chiller cooling towers in the top, and a bunch of like diesel generators. The diesel generators are backup power. The data center itself is like, look, physically smaller than the water chillers, right? So the chips are actually easier to like keep together, but then like cooling all the water for the water cooling is very difficult, right? So Google has like a very advanced infrastructure that no one else has for the TPU. Um, and what they do is they've like stamped these data center, they've stamped a bunch of these data centers out in a few regions, right? So if you go a little bit further um, down, uh, this is this is a Microsoft, this is an Arizona, this is where GPT-5, quote unquote, will be trained. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> If it doesn't if, exist already. <laughs> yeah, if it doesn't exist already. Um, but each of these data centers, right, I, I've shown a couple images of them, they're like really closely co-located in the same region, right? Nebraska, Iowa. And then they also have a similar one in uh, Ohio complex, right? Um, and so these data centers are really close to each other. Um, and what they've done is they've connected them super high bandwidth with fiber. Um, and so these are just a bunch of data centers. And, and, and the point here is that Google has a very advanced infrastructure, um, very tightly connected in a small region. So Elon will always have the biggest cluster fully connected, mm -hmm. right? Because it's all in one building, yeah. right? And he's completely right on that, right? Google has the biggest cluster, but you have to spread over three sites and by, by a significant margin, but you have to go across multiple sites. Well, why doesn't Google compete with NVIDIA? Why don't they sell TPUs? I think, I think there's a couple problems with it. It's like one, TPU has been a form of allowing search to be really freaking cheap and build models for that, right? Um, and so like a big chunk of the search GPU purchases or TPU purchases or big chunk of Google's purchases and usage, all of it is for internal workloads, right? Whether it be search, uh, now Gemini, right? Uh, YouTube, um, all these different applications that they have, uh, you know, ads. Um, these are where all their TPUs are being spent and that's what they're hyper-focused on, right? Um, and so there's certain like aspects of the architecture that are optimized for their use case that are not optimized elsewhere, right? Um, one simple one is like they've open sourced the Gemma model and, and they called it Gemma 7B, right? Uh, but then it's actually 8 billion parameters because the vocabulary is so large. <laughs> because, and the reason they made the vocabulary so large is because TPU's like matrix multiply unit is massive because that's what they've like sort of optimized for. And so they decided, oh, well, I'll just make the vocabulary large too, even though it makes no sense to do so on such a small model because that fits on their hardware. So Gemma doesn't run as efficiently on a GPU as a Llama does, right? But vice versa, Llama doesn't run as efficiently on a TPU as a Gemma does, right? And it's so like, there's like certain like aspects of like hardware software co-design. So all their search models are their ranking and recommendation models, all these different models that are AI, but not like gen AI, right? Have been, have been hyper optimized with G TPUs forever. The software stack is super optimized, but all of this software stack has not been released publicly at all, mm -hmm. right? Um, very small portions of it, Jax and XLA have been, mm -hmm. but like, the experience when you're inside of Google and you're training on TPUs as a researcher, you don't need to know anything about the hardware in many cases, right? Like it's like pretty beautiful. But as they soon as you step it. outside, <laughs> they, all, they all go, a lot of them go back. <laughs> they leave Google and then they go back. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, they, they leave and they start a company because they have all these amazing research ideas. And they're like, wait, infrastructure is hard. Software is hard. And this is on GPUs. Or if they try to use TPUs, same thing, because they don't have access to all this code. But, and so it's like, how do you convince a company whose golden goose is search where they're making hundreds of billions of dollars from to start selling GPU or TPUs, uh, which they used to only buy a couple billion of, you know, I think in 2023, they bought like, um, like a, a couple billion. 
And now they're buying like $10 billion to $15 billion worth. But how do you convince them that they could, they should just buy like twice as many and figure out how to sell them and make $30 billion? Like who cares about making $30 billion? Won't, won't that $30 billion exceed actually the search profit eventually? Oh, I, I mean like – you're always going to make more money on services than 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 always. Hard, I mean, like yeah, like you know, like to be clear, like today people are spending a lot more on hardware than they are the services, mm -hmm. right? Because you, the hardware front runs the service spend. Yeah. But like you're investing. Yeah. If 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 there's no revenue for AI stuff or not enough revenue, then obviously like it's going to blow up, right? You know, uh, people won't continue to spend on GPUs forever. Um, and, and Nvidia is trying to move up the stack with like software that they're trying to sell and license and stuff, right? But Google has never had that like DNA of like this is a product we should sell, right? They don't act, the Google Cloud does it is which is a separate organization from the TPU team, which is a separate organization from the DeepMind team, which is a separate organization from the search team, right? There's a lot of bureaucracy. Wait, here. Google Cloud is a separate team than the TPU team? Technically TPU inf sits under infrastructure which sits under Google Cloud, but like Google Cloud like for like renting stuff and TPU architecture are very different goals, right? In hardware. Um, and software, like all of this, right? Like the Jax XLA teams do not serve Google's customers externally, whereas NVIDIA's various CUDA teams for like things like Nickel serve external customers, mm -hmm. right? Um, the internal teams like Jax and XLA and stuff, they more so serve DeepMind and Search, yeah. right? And so their customer is different. They're not building a product for them.